What is India's relationship with Pakistan, Russia and USA? You play games and sports with your neighbors, right? Also, when we want some help or support, we generally ask the neighbors first. In our daily life, we interact with our neighboring families for several reasons. It could be for exchange of information, playing games, mutual help or support in case of emergency situations. India and USA both are active in strengthening the UNO and maintaining global peace. Similarly, in the global scenario, the countries should maintain friendly relations with neighboring countries. This helps the countries to maintain peaceful coexistence in the area, mutual exchange of trade, cultural exchange and mutual support in case of emergency situations. Indian Constitution 2 explains international peace and coexistence under Article 51 discussed under Directive Principles of the State. India tries to maintain friendly relationships with other countries of the world according to the directions given in the Constitution. Let us learn about India's relationship with other countries, namely Pakistan, Russia and USA. You all know Pakistan is a neighboring country of India, right? But how many of you know that Pakistan was a part of India initially? Yes, that's right. Before independence, Pakistan was part of India. However, in August 1947, Pakistan was separated from India and both India and Pakistan became two independent, self-governing nations. Let's see how India maintains its foreign relations with Pakistan. The foreign relations between India and Pakistan started in 1947, the year in which both countries became independent nations. Though both countries wish to maintain cordial bilateral relations, there are several issues between India and Pakistan that have become hurdles in the process. The first and foremost issue is terrorism. The second issue is Jammu and Kashmir and the third one is the dispute in sharing waters of the rivers that flow between India and Pakistan. Sometimes the intensity of these issues has resulted in a fight between India and Pakistan. There have also been three wars between India and Pakistan since 1947. To improve relations between the countries, both India and Pakistan have taken initiatives and signed agreements. These are the Tashkent Declaration, Shimla Agreement, Lahore Bus Yatra and Agra Summit. However, these agreements have not helped much to improve the relations between the two nations. There are several reasons for this. There have been a series of terrorist attacks on India by terrorist groups. These include attacks on Indian Parliament in 2001, Mumbai attack in 2007, Pathan Court attack in 2016, and Pulwama attack in 2019. These attacks have severely affected relationship between India and Pakistan. Apart from these attacks, there have been many conflicts between India and Pakistan over Jammu and Kashmir issue for past several years. In spite of all these disputes, there are also few similarities between India and Pakistan in terms of culture and economy. There are economic and cultural ties between the two countries. Since independence, India and Pakistan continue to maintain mutual trade relationships. Both the countries have faced economic crisis and natural calamities like floods and earthquakes.
during such situations, both India and Pakistan have extended help and cooperation to each other. Like Pakistan, India has maintained good relations with other countries also, including Russia and USA. Let's know about India's relationship with Russia. Since India's independence in 1947, India has maintained friendly relations with Russia. Russia was earlier part of USSR, that is, Union of Soviet Socialist Republics. Although India had adopted non-aligned policy, it has cordial relationship with erstwhile USSR. India had good relationship with Russia and there was an exchange in various fields including economics and politics. When in 1962, China tried to invade India, USSR had opposed this unwelcome move of China. In 1961, when Indian armed forces freed Goa from Portuguese rule, USSR supported India at UNO. In 1966, India and Pakistan signed the historic Tashkent Agreement that was wholeheartedly supported by USSR. In 1971, India signed an agreement with USSR for peace and cooperation between the two countries for the next 20 years. To develop the iron and steel industry in the country, India established Bhilai and Bokaro, Bokaro steel plants. USSR provided full support in the establishment of these plants. Over past many years, India has taken Russia's support to improve different sectors of industry and technology. India has been trying to secure a permanent seat in the UN Security Council. Russia has supported India to secure permanent seat. There are quite a few similarities between India and USA. Both are democratic countries and both are large in size. India has maintained good relations with USA over the years. In the present global scenario, both India and USA have major roles to play. Since India's independence in 1947, the relationship between India and USA found major shifts. During Cold War, when world had become bipolar, India adopted non-alignment policy and maintained equal distance policy with Russia and USA. USA significantly supported five-year plans to boost India's economy. USA supported India during Indochina War in 1965. But in the later years, political leaders of USA supported Pakistan during India-Pakistan conflict. Most of the times, USA's foreign policy has been anti-Indian and pro-Pakistan. However, it is interesting to note that both India and USA have common interest in controlling terrorism. India maintains better relationship with USA with respect to foreign trade, science and technology, education, space science and other areas. India and USA both are active in strengthening the UNO and maintaining global peace. India keenly observes the policy shift and viewpoints of democratic and republican parties, the two political parties of USA, and adjusts its policies accordingly. India maintains friendly relationship with other neighboring countries also. These are Sri Lanka, Bhutan, Nepal, Maldives, Afghanistan, Indonesia and other countries. Let's summarize what we've learned so far.
What relationship does India share with Pakistan and China? Ever since India and Pakistan came into existence, they have shared a complex relationship. The partition of India itself was an extremely tragic and violent event with millions of deaths and millions of displacements. There are three major reasons for the complex relationship between India and Pakistan. One, different world views of India and Pakistan. Two, the Kashmir dispute. Three, the nuclear rivalry between India and Pakistan. At the time of the formation of India and Pakistan, international military alliances were being formed in the background of the Cold War. These were led by the USA and the former USSR. India was against the military alliances, so it chose to solve the Indo-Pak conflict bilaterally. The Shimla Agreement of 1972 between India and Pakistan is a testimony of this. On the other hand, Pakistan entered into different alliances with the Islamic countries of West Asia, China and the USA. There has been a dispute between India and Pakistan over the territory of Kashmir since 1947. Pakistan claims Kashmir to be part of its territory. It considers the issue of Kashmir as the biggest roadblock in establishing friendly relations with India. The first Indo-Pak war was fought in 1965. It was followed by the Tashkent Agreement in 1966. However, the agreement did not yield any result in maintaining good relations between the two nations. Although the war of 1971 was about the liberation of East Pakistan, now Bangladesh, the issue of Kashmir nevertheless came up. However, the Shimla Agreement of 1972 did bring both the countries on the same platform to discuss and mutually resolve their issues. In 1999, Pakistan-supported terrorists illegally entered Kargil in India. The Indian Army forced the Pakistani terrorists out and reclaimed Kargil. In the last three decades, Pakistan has caused instability in Kashmir by supporting terrorism. Since India and Pakistan are both nuclear powers, Many other countries have expressed concerns over the rising conflict between the two countries. They also have a dispute related to Sir Creek area, which lies between Gujarat in India and Sindh in Pakistan. The relations between India and China too are ridden with conflict. There are mainly two reasons for this. One, border issues. Two, status of Tibet. The area to the south of Aksai Chin and the Makmohan Line in Arunachal Pradesh are territorial disputes between China and India. China claims these parts as its own territory. Despite India's attempts to have a dialogue, China attacked India in 1962. Another pain point between Indo-China relations is the issue of Tibet. Tibet was an independent region until China took control over it. Tibetan's religious leader, the Dalai Lama, had to leave his homeland for India. This created further tensions between India and China. Another concern for Indo-China relations is the growing proximity between Pakistan and China. China has supplied weapons and transferred defense technology to Pakistan which poses a threat to India's security. Despite these conflicts, several efforts have been made to improve the relations between the two countries. A joint executive committee was set up to resolve the border dispute. Growing trade relations between the two countries have put the border disputes on the back burner. Along with this, a series of talks between India Russia and China have contributed to the improvement of Indo-China relations. Let's summarize what we have learned so far. 